Cody. Well, that's right. I don't know where in the world you were. Well, I want to tell you folks, I got something special for you. You know, the lessons that we're going to be doing here at Hallelujah Ranch, they're all about trusting and obeying God. You know that? And what is trust anyway? What you rely on, what you depend on. You know, some people trust in their accomplishment. What the things that they do, like prizes and all of the, the, the trophies and all of that. And some people, they trust in their money, but money runs out sometime, don't it? And you know, some people, they trust in people. Now, we need to have people in our lives that we trust, but we can't always rely on people. Why? Because they're going to let us down. And some people, they trust in themselves. <laughs> we can't trust in ourselves because we make mistakes. Who do we have to trust in everybody out there? God, that is right. Well, Pastor Debbie is going to come now and we're going to start in today's lesson. So don't you go away. Right? All right. See you soon. I'm going to be back with my friend Dusty later on. Don't go away. Well, hi, everybody. We're back here. This is Pastor Debbie, and we'll see Dusty and South Dakota Red a little later. But now we're going to have our lesson in this series, the Hallelujah Ranch. Okay, so... Our story today is taken from the book of Judges in the Old Testament. That's the seventh book of the Old Testament. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges. And it's the 13th chapter. The story begins on the 13th chapter of Judges and goes to the 16th chapter. And our story begins where there is a couple who are getting up in years. They're getting older and they want children. But so far, they haven't had any. And so they pray to God. They're righteous people, good people. And God blesses them with a son. God has big plans for this young man. And as he grows up, God wants him to be a leader, a judge over his people, Israel. So let's meet their son. His name is Samson. Here he is. Now, Samson had a very unique gift that God had given him. Samson had incredible physical strength. Yes, God gave him incredible physical strength. But the problem with Samson was that even though he was blessed by God and God gifted him and made him a leader, he didn't always do everything that God wanted him to do. He did his own thing. He had his own way about things even though he was set apart, even before he was born, for the purposes of God. He didn't always trust God. In our story today, I need your help. This is what I want you to do. From time to time in the story, I'm gonna say, Samson was not trusting God. And I'll stop and go like that. And what I need you to yell out is, Samson, trust in God. All right, let's practice one more time. What one time, okay? So I'm gonna say Samson was not trusting God. Samson, trust in God! All right, try it again. Samson, trust in God! All right, so ready for your part so you'll be listening, okay? Now Samson had long hair. In fact, that was key to some of his physical strength, but we won't go into that. One day, just to give you an idea of how strong Samson really was, one day, Samson and his family, or his parents, were going on a trip. You see, Samson liked this girl, and unfortunately, this girl was one of Israel's enemy. She was a Philistine. His family was against him. But on his way, on a trip with his parents, he was going along on his own, when all of a sudden, from out of nowhere came a lion with a loud roar. Well, you would think 
Samson would be fearful. Wouldn't you be? I mean, if a lion jumped out in front of you with an incredible loud roar? Well, I know I would be running away, but not Samson. What Samson did, he came at that lion and he ripped the lion to shreds. It was history. Wow, what incredible strength Samson had. But you know what? That wasn't the greatest thing, actually. That wasn't the greatest thing. His attitude wasn't really right. Samson really wasn't trusting in God, but doing his own thing. Samson wasn't trusting God. No, he wasn't. Well, later on, Samson, he had this grudge against the Philistines. Well, they were God's enemies, but, or Israel's enemies anyways. But he took things again in his own hands, not really trusting God. And Samson did something really weird. You know what kind of animal this is? Well, it's a fox. Well, Samson took 300 of these foxes and you know what he did? He tied their tails together. So Samson had 300, uh, sorry, 300 foxes and he paired them up tied their tails together, 150 on one pair and 150 on the, in the other pair, making the 300. And is that, if that wasn't weird enough to tie their tails together, he set their tails on fire. And then he threw them off into the fields of the Philistines. And guess what happened? These, these fox, they were going crazy. And so, of course, the fire spread all throughout the Philistines' fields and destroying the whole thing. He wasn't trusting in the Lord. Right. He was doing his own thing, not following the Lord's lead. Well, of course, Samson had an eye for the ladies, and he fell in love with a Philistine, one of the enemy women, beautiful woman. They were getting kind of cozy. I mean, really cozy. He was in love with her. Her name was Delilah, but Delilah was a Philistine, an enemy of Israel. But still, that didn't stop him. Samson wasn't really trusting God. He was doing his own thing once again. But he liked to play games because he knew that God had given him great physical strength, right? So the Philistines wanted Delilah to try and get Samson to tell her the secret to his physical strength. They wanted to trick him and they wanted to bind him up and put an end to him, really. So every day, Delilah would nag and nag and nag after Samson to tell her the secret to his great strength. Yeah, Delilah would go, Oh, Samson, darling, tell me the secret to your strength. Don't keep anything from me. And so Samson would tell her some lie, <laughs> thinking, ha, ha, think I'm going to tell you? <laughs> no, 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 no. So he would tell her some kind of lie. And so he would go to sleep, and the Philistine men would tie Samson up, thinking that he would have no more strength when he got up. But what happened when he woke up the next day? He took his, his powerful, strong strength and he flew or pushed off the, 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 the ropes and he got out of it and he was ready to go. So Delilah would harass 
And nag Samson again. Oh, darling, darling, tell me the, the secret to your great strength. Mm. Oh, you big, strong man. And again, Samson would tell her some lie. And so, they would come again. When he was asleep, they would tie him all up in ropes at the next morning with his incredible strength. He'd get out of it all and he was ready to go again. Well, the Philistines were getting annoyed and so was Delilah. And she went, oh, Samson, darling, you tricked me again. Please, please, please. Tell me the secret to your great strength, you big, strong man. Well, Samson, he couldn't take it anymore. He kind of loved Delilah, really. So he finally told her the secret to his strength. And so what happened? He was tied up. And the next day, got up thinking that God was still with him and that he would be able to get out like he had the times before. But it didn't work. The Lord had left him because he was doing his own thing. Samson wasn't trusting in God. And so, they were able to capture him. He was really tied up and he was in chains as well. And guess what else they did to him? They cut off all of his hair and they put out his eyes. Oh, poor Samson. Oh no, what was he going to do now? You know what Samson did? Now Samson started to trust the Lord. Wow, it was about time, wasn't it? And he prayed. And, and, and he just wanted to fulfill God's purpose now. He wanted to defeat his enemies, just as he was supposed to do. So, he had someone bring him to the Philistines' temple. They worship false gods, not the true God. Samson said to God, if I can just push against the pillars of the Philistines' temple, then the temple pillars will fall down and all of the Philistines will be destroyed. My enemies will be done for. And so God heard Samson's prayer and he was able to press against the pillars and all of the Philistines died. Unfortunately, so did Samson. But he fulfilled his purpose for God and the enemy was defeated. Not a very nice story, is it? It shows you that we need to trust God and not trust in ourselves. God had given Samson incredible gifts, incredible strength, but he did his own thing not trusting in the Lord. That brings us to our memory verse for today. Our memory verse is found in the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 10. And what does it say? It says, so do not fear, for I am with you. Samson had God with him when he returned and trusted God. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, and help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41, verse 10. We don't have to be afraid. 
We can trust God, but when we trust in ourselves, it doesn't work out. Our faith fact for today, trust in who? God. He will help you. Trust in God. He will help you. Now, let's pray. Let's pray asking God to help us to trust in him and not in ourselves. We fail. People fail. But God never fails. Father, we just thank you today that you are in our life. And when we come to you in need, when we put our trust and our faith in you, you never fail us. We just ask you to help us, Lord, not to do things our way, but to trust your way. That we will not only fulfill your plan for our life, but we will be strong. Strong in you and not in ourself. So we thank you, Lord God, for the strength that you give us in everything we do. We will trust you. Amen. All right. So now, Dusty and South Dakota Red are coming back. So make sure you listen. See you next time. Hey, so here we are right again back here. And I've got something wild to show you guys. Right, Rusty? No, your name ain't Rusty. It's Dusty. Sorry for that. Right? Right? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. All right. Now, we've been talking about trusting God, right? And remember, Samson, he didn't trust God for a long time. He did his own thing. But in the end of it all, he came back to God. Woohoo! Well, I've got something here to show you. This here glass is, this is representing trust in me, trust in ourselves. And this here glass, it's representing trust in God, okay? Now, if we're trusting ourselves, how can we be trusting God? What happens when we try to do that? Let's see. Well, we are looking here. Those two can't mix together, can they? We can't trust ourselves and be trusting God at the same time. They just don't work. We have to trust in not ourselves, but God. We can't do them both. So we're gonna trust God, right partners? Right, Rusty? No, you're not, Rusty, you're Dusty. Right, Dusty? Right. Good. All right, now I got a little trick to show you. So, just a minute. Okay, are you ready for this trick? <laughs> well, partners, you see, remember our lesson was about Samson? Remember we said that Samson wasn't trusting God all the way through his life. In fact, he depended on himself. And what ended up happening to Samson? Well, he ended up getting stuck with the Philistines, getting himself all ripped up in a mess, right? Oh, that poor Samson, he's falling apart. Poor guy, I don't know about you, but, but what had happened in the end? Look at all these bits and pieces of Samson in here. Well, you know, he went back to God, didn't he? Right? Trusting in God, praying to God. And what happened when he prayed to God? Well, let's see. What did God do for Samson? Whoa! Did you look at that? God put it all back together again. Well, he wasn't too happy at the end of it all, but he was because he did God's purpose. He fulfilled God's plan for his life. He trusted in God once again. And that's what we need to do, right, partners? <laughs> well, we're going to see you back here at the ranch next week. So make sure you join us. Until then, oh, say goodbye, Dusty. I got him right this time. <laughs> say goodbye, Dusty. Bye. What's wrong with that guy?